Hi, we're back again with another mystery box unboxing video. I was going to do a comparison between Portsmouth Tarantula and Spider Shop. Unfortunately, something happened with my Spider Shop package, so that's not going to come now until tomorrow. But Portsmouth Tarantula has come today, but I'll still do the comparison. I just have to do one after another, whereas I would have liked to have done them side by side, so it doesn't matter. And, Port and um, Spider Shop were very good about it, like they emailed and said, We're really sorry. And it'll also be 10% of my next order, so that's brilliant. Thank you very much, Spider Shop. So, anyway, we've got the £30 mystery box here first today from Portsmouth Tarantula. Overall, packaging is really good, it's got a nice live animals sticker on it, and a uh, nice little Portsmouth Tarantula logo there. And it's all labelled up as fragile and things, so as always, really good packaging from Portsmouth Tarantula. So, let's open it and see what we've got. I can open it. Um. Always so well packaged. Which is lovely. So as always, it's a mystery box. I've got no idea what's in here. No idea what to expect. So we're just going to have a look. See what we've got. My Latin still hasn't got any better, I'm afraid, so bear with me. So in the box we have some bubble wrap with another box inside. So that's very good, nice and safe. And let's get this open. With my massive scissors. I think this might be an overkill, but never mind. Okay, and in the box we have got packing peanuts as always. Hey, what have we got here? We have got SP Ruckus with a, something really long beginning with PH. So, I'm not sure what that is, but it's a sling, £13. I will, as always, I will Google these. In a minute when I go and up enclosures and come back. Oh, giant white knee. So that's a good one. So it looks like it's possibly a juvenile in there. Fantastic. What else have we got? King Baboon. I've already got one of these. These are fun. Um, <laughs> the one I've got is a bit feisty, so <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Oh, and a cobalt blue sling. So that's brilliant. And again, I'm sorry about Latin names. I really am bad at it and it's best I don't even try. <laughs> I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me like, how to pronounce it. And that's everything. So for my £30, pounds, I've got what looks like they're going to be two juveniles and two slings, which is fantastic. So I'm actually not sure what this one is at all. SP Ruffus. I know what the others are. I'm not sure what this one is, so that'll be interesting. I'll do a quick Google and a bit of research on that in a minute. So I'm going to go now. I'm going to set up some enclosures and then we'll come back for unpacking these guys and seeing what condition they're in. Okay, so we're back again. I've now got some enclosures ready. So I'm going to quick bit of Googling. So the one that I didn't know is um, the I still can't say it in Latin, sorry. But anyway, it's the Java Tree Tiger. So, woo. so we might as well start with that one. It's an arboreal species, apparently. So yeah, that's that one. So I'm just starting off with a small, got some ventilation holes around the sides, a little bit of climbing room. So just start small and then upgrade them to something bigger when it gets bigger. So let's try and get this done. I don't know what the best angle is so you can see. I might move the camera down here actually. And then you can see what I'm doing a bit better. Yeah, okay. So, oh yeah, little dudes in that. Okie dokie. Let's see if we can get him to come out. Problem with smaller enclosures is there's not that much room to work. Which is... Uh, not very helpful, but never mind. Let's see what we can do. It's a bit 
the tissue up and give it a tug out. Oh, sugar! <laughs> Feisty! <laughs> you didn't like me doing that. Have another go. She's just breaking apart. She's never fun. But well, he's in there. He's definitely alive. He just attacked the tongs. So that's always a good thing. Rather it be the tongs in my hand. Hey, there you go. There's the tissue coming out now. Hopefully he will come with the tissue. Hmm. Yes. Right. Now oh, the best bit. Try and get him out of the tissue. Okay. How is this is gonna be problem with tissue is it likes to there we go, he's out. He's off the tissue. Let's just put that on for a minute because he's going straight up to the side. Of course. No! <laughs> straight onto the lid. But hey, he's out and he's happy. I will retrieve that tissue later when um, he's decided not to be on the lid and he's exploring somewhere else. He's in there. Doing a lap of the lid now, of course. You like right, that little dude? Let's make sure I haven't got his legs trapped before I put the tips down. No, he's fine. He's happy. It took a while to come out, but when he did, he, he came out really well. So, let's see if I can get this. I have to write everything on everything, otherwise I forget what things are, but he is, I don't know, you can see, he is in there, he's happy, but yeah, so he's come out nice and healthy, so we're off to a good start, so I've done Portsmouth Tarantula, okay, let's do one of the bigger ones next, because that's a bit more exciting, isn't it? So, here we go. If we do the giant white knee next, it's incredible. Might be a little bit on the big side for it, I'm not sure. Might not be, might be a bit on the small side. You never know. So, giant white knee, that one. So, these are nice and easy, easy to get your hands in at least. So, let's have a look, see what we've got in this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we go again with the tongs, well packaged again. Mm. Okay, let's put that down there a second. There we go. So, we're in there, nice bright red butt. Show you in here before it comes out. So he's in there in his little thing. So I think actually I'm just going to leave it like that because as you know I don't like stressing these guys out and that's going to be really nice and easy to remove later. I can see that the tarantula is fine and um, I don't want to cause it any stress really. So I'll leave that there. 
I'll whip it out later when it's decided to come out of its own accord because it must be quite stressful for them being put in the post and packaged up. So we'll just leave that there. I'm sure it'll come out in its own time. Right. Let's do the next sling. So this is the cobalt blue. So we've got small enclosures. I find like things like this are best for the slings because it just makes it easier for them to find their food that I give them and me to be able to find them. Okay. So This is actually one of the species I do keep eyeing up every time I'm on Portsmouth Tarantula's website or the Spider Shop's website. They're my two favourite to order from. Um, just because they're so pretty and blue. Okay, so the tissues come away from the little pot. Nice and easy, that one. With a bit of a tug. Let's get that out there. Okay. Find the edge. There's the edge. And carefully unwrap. Right, okay, the last bit now. So let's get this lid back into play. And there he is. Gosh, that was hectic. Oh. Okay. Oh, he's a little cutie. Right, that's what I'm going to do now. There you go, he's off the tissue. And it's gone straight under a leaf. Let's whip that out. Right. Where's it gone? Can't put it out the side there by my finger. Okay, let's put the lid on. Oh, that's a good feeling lid. That's quite good. I've got these tops from Morrison's actually. Okay, so here's very quickly. <laughs> Every time I turn it, he runs away from the camera. But he is. About here, you can see him. Where's he gone now? Hmm. That one. That's it. It's kitchen properly now. Um, where is he gone? Is he hiding under that leaf? You can just about see his legs there. There we go. So he is nice and happy and healthy. So he should look really pretty when he gets bigger. Okay. Oof. Last one. Say, King Baboon. So I said before, I already have one of these. And the one I've got is um, pretty pretty feisty, really. And I don't know if that's a normal King Baboon thing, but he does like to run at me as soon as it's feeding time. And uh, yeah, but yeah, they're nice anyway. Like, I found my one's grown really quickly. Um, like, when did I get it? February or March, I think I got mine. And um, yeah, it's uh, so all those tub is probably larger than I would normally put one that size in, yeah. But I know it's going to grow quite quickly, so I'm not worried about it. Right, right, okay. I'm just making sure you very carefully is in there. Okay. So again, he's in there. He's free to move now. So I'm going to do the same as I did with the white knee and just leave the tub in there. He will come out in his own time. 
I don't want to poke and prod him about. It's a bit different with the slings because they are packed a little bit tighter. So you do have to kind of try and get everything out. But yeah, so I'm just going to leave him in there. He'll come out. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with what I got for my £30. I think the value is just over 50 for what I actually received. So oh, I'll put you back up here now. So tomorrow... Hopefully my mystery box from the spider shop will come and we'll do another video then and we'll compare things like the packaging, overall value for money, the um, actual spiders tarantulas that we got and uh, yeah it should make quite an interesting little video I think so um, thanks and yeah I'll see you tomorrow bye. Hi, yeah, it's the next day and my mystery box from the spider shop has arrived. So let's get it open and see what's in here. Uh, again, the packaging, it's a nice box. Again, it's come with a nice live invertebrate inside the sticker. So that's good for the post people to know. They don't throw it around too much. Um, like I was saying yesterday, what happened with the spider shop is it was just human error really and it happens you know it's a big company they send out loads those boxes per day but they were really good and we emailed them saying that oh they hadn't came and um they sorted out he emailed us back straight away which was really good even though it was quite late in the evening by now and oh my gosh this is really hard to open <laughs> and uh yeah and they were really good about it and apologized and my opinion is wrong, my. and um, offered me ten percent of my next order for any inconvenience, which is brilliant of them. So that will get used. Oh, and uh, yeah, so they're really good. But like I say, it happens. You know, it's human error. Like, don't let people fool you with them. It's uh, they've always been really polite and just a fantastic company, really. Okay, so let's get this open. I can. This tape's really strong. <laughs> That's another good point. <laughs> okay, so inside here we have got a nice, nice sticker. Fantastic. That will go on my laptop because I like putting stickers on there. Okay, again, nice and full of packing peanuts. So no accidents happen. There it is. Ah, let's see, let's just see what we've got. Right. Now I've got the phone trying to read the writing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's the one, same as the one I got yesterday, the um, giant Brazilian white knee. So it's A. Genetli. Genet. Genet. Ulata. Whatever it is, but uh, five to seven centimetres. So. We got one of those yesterday, so that's brilliant. Got two now. <sighs> what else have we got in here? Oh, right. Be her me. I think that's the Brachiopelma. Um, so I think that is the Mexican red knee. I think. So, but I'll Google it and I'll check, but one centimetre one in there, so that's cool. I know they grow really slowly, but it's still fun to watch them grow. Oh, that I can't read at all. L. I don't know what that is. Maybe someone can read that for me. But I can't read that. Oh, have a look. Oh, and a curly hair. This is good because I've already got a curly hair. I've got a uh, sub-adult curly hair. Um, but yeah, lovely spiders. This is one centimetre sling, so that's awesome. Oh, there's more. Ooh. And a H Mac. H. Metallica? It's an H. Metallica. I know what P. Metallica is. 
making sure that needs to be tabited. We'll look that up again. Okay. So, is that Eric Winkham here? There is so many packing peanuts in this box. I think that should probably be everything because, like I say, I only paid 30 quid. So, there's so many peanuts in here. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. <laughs> they go everywhere. <laughs> My gosh. Let's have a good check. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's everything. Right, so I'm going to clear away all these packing peanuts that I've gone all over my table, get some enclosures sorted, and then we'll unpack them and see how they are. Okay, so we're back and I've set up some enclosures and done a bit of um, quick googling like I like to do. So, let's have some fun unpacking things. So, first we will go for... Do, 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 do. That one, the curly hair. This is a one centimetre sling. So let's have a look. Oh, I'll we'll move you down for a minute. There we go. Let's see I'm doing a bit better. Oops, go there. So isn't it? Okay. So here we go. Same containers that they come in really from uh, Portsmouth Tarantula, apart from the slings. Portsmouth transfer came in a tiny little pot and these are the ones that they used for the juveniles so that's the only difference really um, that was always very well packed up tissues are nice and moist which is always good because you don't want them drying out mm -hmm. let's try and unwrap it He's in there. Whee! Get the lid on quick. <laughs> oh, they always do that. They get off the tissue and they're like, fuck, so much room. Um, right, this guy's really tiny, so I'm probably not even going to get it on the camera, and he's gone straight under a leaf. But he's in there, he's healthy and very sweet. So we like that. Oh, put his lid on. So, uh, let's see if we can see him in there. Oh, right. I quite like putting like a little dent in the soil um, just at the side because it gives him somewhere to go. He's run straight in there. You probably can't see him. I think he's come out of here now actually. Um, just to like give them a little starter barrow because they're slings they like to dig so yeah he's under the leaf he's in there he's happy he's very active healthy so that's fantastic one down Woo. right okay so <clears throat> one i didn't know what it was um the h i think it's metallica but i'm not sure but anyway it's tango starburst so we'll do that next, arboreal. So I found this little tub and I thought that would do nicely. Not sure if I'm going to get it in there, but let's give it a go. Not tango, two, two go, two go starburst. That's right, sorry. <laughs> Righty ho. Oh dear, I think this is going to be a bit more tricky just because it's quite a small tub. And, um, doesn't really leave me much room for working, but we'll have a look and see anyway. Again, tissue is nice and moist. That's always a good thing. Right, if I do it this way, hopefully he won't bolt out at me. So 
Did I leave some get the lid on? All right. I'm going to come back to this song because otherwise I think I'm going to spend ages trying to get this sling off of here. So I've got it to the point where the tissue's in there and I can close the lid. And hopefully he'll wander off onto one of these leaves. And um, there he is. And I can get the tissue out a bit later because otherwise I think I'm going to spend all my time um, trying to get him off. And this video's getting long enough as it is. <laughs> No one's going to want to watch it. So, right, next we will go to the Lassiodora Kalungi. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to say this right at all. I probably haven't said Kalungi right either, but it is a Bahia Scarlet. That's what that is. So... Let's get that off. So hopefully this will be easier. I say that probably won't be. I don't know why I do this. Oh, I do it's because I love them. <laughs> but um, oh, I'm kind of here a bit so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got the Lassiodora Parabababan, which is the salmon pink bird eater. But it's exactly how it's meant to be pronounced as well, by the way. Like, <laughs> not at all, but hey. I'm putting my leaves out. Um, so, I don't know. I, I had a quick glance, but does it get as big as the bird eater? The salmon pink? I hope so, because I like them. It's in the... Ooh, where are we going? Turn this this way. And he is right there. If we can get this kind of flatten out a bit. Then he'll walk out nice and smoothly with no problems. They never bloody do, do they? So, <clears throat> while he's behaving, let's see if I can get a good, so we can show people. Oh, where's my ceiling? It is in there. He is probably going to go a bit mad. Run around. Right. Where are we gone? Oh shit, I should have got that out before I did that. Okay, um, right. Okay, he is in there. I think I can get that out quite quickly. Right. Oh, he's moved again. Tissue right. out. Slide it in. There we go. So it's just about being a little bit patient sometimes when he's in there. Where are you? Let's see. Oop, there he is. So here's a happy chappy. Right. Whew. So what have we got? We've got the red knee left and the Giant white. So, we go for red knee next. Let's get the sleeves out of the way because I always find them so much harder. I don't know why, but I think it's because they seem to move a lot quicker. So let's get this out again. Again, do you nice and moist? Uh, okay. Hmm. So I'm doing this, I think we'll talk a bit. Um, so I got both of the boxes at the same value because I'd like, to, I thought it'd be nice to do like a comparison. And, oh, hello. <laughs> to be honest, um, there's really not that much in them. Like value wise, they're both around the same value. And uh, where have you gone? 
like um, Dying from Portsmouth's Tarantula, I got two juveniles and three slings. Um, is it three slings? I think so. And this one, I got one juvenile and four slings. And I quick browsing on the website, everything works out to around the same value that was in there. So it was about 50 quid's worth in both boxes, which is lovely. Um, they both come well packaged. They both come with a nice variety of different species in them. So there really isn't much in them, to be honest. And I've had mystery boxes, of course, from both companies in the past. And I've just never been disappointed. So like, I was hoping like the outcome of this video would be like, yes, I definitely prefer this box or something. And I have to say, it's not at all. <laughs> There is nothing in them at all, like, um, difference-wise, they're both fantastic. And, yeah, it's really hard to make a decision, but I don't, I don't think I can. But it's been quite well paid, this one. This is the uh, Brachiopalma Haromi. So it used to be the Bracky of Palma Smithy, um, which is much easier to say. Why the hell did you change it? But <laughs> the Mexican Red Knee. Um, I love these little guys. They're like the classic tarantula, aren't they, really? Like when they grow up. It's the one that you see in all the horror films and things. And they're just brilliant. And uh, yeah, so I'm really happy to be adding this one to my collection. I actually don't have any at the moment. So I did have one. My very first one um, actually was a grown-on Brachiot Palma, and at the time it was a Smithy, and um, unfortunately had a bad moment and didn't make it through, but I loved it. That was my very first tarantula, also I probably didn't really know what I was doing then either, but wow, you're quick! And um, yeah, so I'm really happy to have another one of these guys. Where's he gone? Um, yeah, over the moon. So uh, they do grow painfully slowly, but I think they are worth it. Like, <laughs> he's under the tip show. He shot out of there and darted straight under. So I actually don't know where he is. But he's teeny tiny again. Um, very active, very healthy. I can't see where he's gone. No, my luck, he'll be attached to the tissue and I'll try and pull it out and it will go horribly wrong. So, <sighs> okay, so let's have a look here. Where are you? I actually cannot see him. His bolt is somewhere. He's in the tub, which is always a bonus. I'm not sure where. He's there. Right, so let's move this. There you go. He's just snuggled down. I'm not even going to try and show you this one. Well, I guess I could. I don't know if he'd be able to pick it up on the camera. Let's see if we can. So he is. I can't see what the camera's doing. He is in there. Very teeny, so I'll leave them to settle. So yeah, as I say, I can't wait for someone to get a bit bigger. Um, there we go. That's that one. That was actually nice and easy. That one. He shot off the tissue, and then under the tissue. Let's have a look. See what this one's doing now. Still on the tissue. Right. Come back to that later. <laughs> okay. Right. So I'm just here now. So we're going to go for the big boy, we're going to go for the Brazilian white knee. So I have my camera because the enclosure I set up. I was using to balance my camera on. Okay, so, oh, maybe. So, we've got one of these rubs, really useful boxes for this one because I like them and I had that still kicking around, so I've got to put that one in there with it. 
they're quite bold species they don't really tend to hide away too much but it's nice to have the option and i also am really running out of spider enclosure deco now so i need to go on my shopping spree i think and get that sorted These are stunning, stunning little tarantulas. There he is. Absolutely lovely. That was nice and easy. Okay, so I think we'll wrap that up there. And um, okay, put you back up here now. And uh, as always, thanks for everyone who does take the time to watch. I realise this is probably going to be quite. A long video so if you've made it to here well done um <laughs> i'll try and edit it as well a bit before we um post it on youtube and thanks for watching any comments are welcome any constructive criticism is welcome please don't be mean um like i always say like i i this i'm not an expert i do this as a hobby i love all my tarantulas and and yeah it's nice when i get nice comments and People like my videos and I, I don't expect it but it's just nice to do and um, yeah so thank you for watching and take care everyone and hopefully I'll be back again soon bye